I've seen this. This is the second time I've ever seen a squirrel and a snake do this. Oh my yeah, god. Here. Oh, I don't know. Oh, but that's, oh, that shows you how tough those, those scales are. And the squirrel's trying to get underneath <laughs> the scales yeah. and trying to make kind of a chink in the armor, if you will. Yeah. But he can't. Well, I mean, I'm not sure if he can't, but he certainly has a hard time doing it. And it depends on if the squirrel or the snake can get away in fast enough time before the squirrel actually does wear a hole. And that's what the squirrel's trying to do. Did you make it move? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure that the squirrel can do this. It's already getting through a little bit. You can see it kind of nibbling and pulling and eating something. <laughs> And the, the snake just is either tiring out or it needs to come on. Now this is where I, I kind of want to split this path so the snake actually sees that it has an exit over here and let it be kind of natural so that it can get away. So for you guys right in front of it, I want you to kind of go on one side or the other and at least give it a chance to get away. I don't know. I mean, this happened for about 10 or 15 minutes the last time I remember watching this. This was last summer. Um, and the, squirrel, or the snake finally got away. Yep. Well, no, this, the snake finally got into a place where the squirrel couldn't go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the snake ain't going to win this one. No, I think it could go, it could be moving faster if it tried. It was trying, so I'm not sure moving, but I just want to make sure